up folks I'm on a work shift Chris is watching Pippin right now Chris was outside doing stuff cooking chores everything else I was watching Pippin the last few hours now she's watching Pippin taking a break and I'm back um, we did a premiere earlier on YouTube but I did the live stream this morning so if you want to catch all of these um, right now I'm multi-streaming on YouTube and Twitch, but uh, in the mornings I'm doing those early morning sessions. Right now I've been doing those only on Twitch. Um, in any case, we're going to move on this. We have come back. And if I'm not mistaken, I need to check my quests here. Talk to Preston Garvey. Okay, back up in there. Nothing else we need to do here? Double check before we head back. It's a wasteland, man. It is indeed a wasteland. I'm also going to be uh, putting um, Fallout 76 on the uh, Xbox. I think tonight. Um, 
I played it a couple years back with Maduros on the PC. Um, I remember my first impressions video I did on it was on the Xbox. Um, and then I switched over to the PC to play with him. But I'd like to play it some more. Just to see what updates have been made, what it's like right now. But I'll do that I'll do that here on a case-by-case -case basis throughout this month while we're continuing to watch the show. Alright, I think we can go ahead and fast travel on back. Do our turn in with Preth and... Probably wait till morning. I don't like trying to run around in the dark. Um... Unless there's time limited stuff that I'm screwing myself over on by sleeping so much. <laughs> uh, you're gonna lose these six quests because you slept too long. That that's a legit thing in some games. As much as I liked hey, um Do you have a moment? I wanted to thank you for helping us out in Concord. If only we'd run into you sooner. What's up, brother? Um, Hero U was a game that Lori and Corey Cole made a few years back. They kickstarted it. They're the uh, husband and wife team that made the Quest for Glory series back in the day and worked on a whole bunch of stuff with Sierra um, for point and click games and stuff. And and they, they did a couple of successful Kickstarters. I think they ended up raising around a million dollars in total to make this game called Hero U. And it was a fun game. It was a fun game. But it was it was very niche um, compared to you know before. Well, that's just art. Alright. What happened, brother? What happened to you guys? Long story short, we've been on the move since the attack on Quincy. There used to be more of us. My son, he's... He's gone. I can sympathize. I understand how you feel. I lost someone, too. But you and I... Those goggles are ridiculous. I gotta here, get rid of those. Right? <laughs> we have to go on. For them. All right. Preston. 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 Stay sharp. Don't let your guard down. You know that settlement you sent me to help? They've decided to join the Minutemen. That's great news. I knew you were the right person for the job. By the way, you should have one of these flare guns. You can use it to signal for help gun. from any nearby Minutemen. Not much use yet, but once oh. we have more allied settlements, you'll have help whenever you need it. That's cool. I guess you know I'm one of the last of the Minutemen. But I've never really told you what happened to her. I'm all ears. Akazar. 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 <laughs> I actually, the other day, I contemplated another Starfield playthrough. Um... Just a quick run, because I never did do... I never did go do the human marine side storyline. I don't think we were done. It may happen at some point. Are you really the last Minuteman? Maybe not literally. There must be a lot of former Minutemen out there who gave it up in disgust after the Quincy Massacre. But we were the last active group of Minutemen. And now, well... It's just me. What was the Quincy Massacre? I thought everyone in the Commonwealth knew about that by now. I was with Colonel Hollis's group. A mercenary group called the Gunners was attacking Quincy. The people there called for the Minutemen to help. Yeah, that's probably what I'll end up doing. Only ones are, is I'll just end up waiting. Because I did pre-order the, the... They just turned their backs. The premium edition? So I've got the DLC. And the folks in Quincy. Only a few of us got out alive. Colonel Hollis was dead. So I ended up in charge of the survivors. We never found a safe place to settle. One disaster after another. You saw how it ended in Concord? I know how it feels to be the last survivor. Yeah, I guess you do. That's why I'm talking to you. I can't rebuild the Minutemen, but I think you can. 
está terminando otra vez. Ok. Hoy en la mañana yo quité todo por un rato y dejé la... se baña todo su cuerpo. Pero esto fue como 9 en la mañana. Take your time. Hey, that means a lot coming from you, Garvey. I appreciate that. Does that mean you'll do it? Okay, I'll do it. Good. Good. Welcome aboard. I feel like this is a whole new star for the Miniman and the Commonwealth, too. Don't worry. I'll be right beside you all the way. General. <laughs> yeah, Ninja, I, uh, I was talking about that earlier. I don't know if you were around when I started the stream a while back, but um, I, was, I was talking about how I'm going to go ahead and uh, re-download Fallout 76 tonight. Because I did play it. Um, I, had, I had fun in 76. I played it with Maduros a couple years back, had a lot of fun. I think Bubblonia might have even dropped in for, uh, uh, sorry, uh, Akazar uh, may have even dropped in for a couple of those sessions to like say hi. I want to, I want to say that that happened, <laughs> but it's a couple of years ago, and I medicate a lot, so um, I enjoyed it. Um, but it was one of those things where it's just a phase game for me. It's, it's. General? I don't think it's ever something that could be a main. But I, I want to try it on the Xbox again because when I first tried it, I did. Um, enjoy it and it's hot right now so I might as well see what changes have happened um, but this looks way better than I thought it would like I've never you know I dab I, I did the first impressions video for Fallout 4 last <clears> year and it looked you know it looks good I can't wait to see obviously you know it's not like a huge graphical improvement but I will say that um, it's going to be interesting to see what the performance mode is like for the next gen consoles um no, it was it was on PC when I did it with uh, Maduros Akazar. Um but it was Sorry. like a couple years ago. I don't remember. All right. Why are you calling me general? The leader of the Miniman has always held the rank of general. Our last leader was General Becker. After he died back in 82, nobody could agree on who should take his place. The one Yeah, it was only like a couple of months. Miniman is there's no one to argue with me when I say you're the new general. Now it's your job to make it more than an empty title. Anyways, uh, word about a settlement that's I will also be doing some Fallout 76 soon. But I, I've been generally just impressed how good this looks graphically wise. I'll mark it on your map. Go find out what they need. The only thing that drives me nuts is those huge pauses that sometimes happen in dialogue. It's like, dude, just spit it out. All right. So a quick save. That's the thing, Ninja. It's like the show is so good that it's got everybody jonesing. That's a good thing. I think it's also uh, it's an interesting trend that we've seen in the last few years in terms of what a good show can do for a franchise that's already established. But it's I don't want to say it's stale, but it's in between major releases um so think about you know arcana um the cyberpunk 2077 show the witcher 3 show um the last of us show we've seen some critically acclaimed and hit shows around video games come out over the last like four to five years um and it's been it's been very good television to watch and it's it's starting to get to the point where every time you see a good show like this happening, the numbers surge for whatever are the, um, you know, the, the relevant games around those properties at the time, which is a great thing. It's also great to see video game companies leaning into that and coming on board to serve as like executive producers. So I want to look at like the Last of Us show as an example because that's one of the most recent that could pop into my brain, because. Look at who direct. Let's just look at look at the showrunner was. Like he went from HBO's hit show on Chernobyl, right, and did this huge like scientific documentary type drama series, and then he went from that <laughs> and did The Last of Us, and it was like it gave The Last of Us a gritty, realistic feel that took an already gritty, dark video game franchise and made it 
into another form of art and they did an adaptation that was incredibly well done and i look at what they've done with the fallout series so far i'm only up to episode five um i've still got three more episodes to go i'm watching episode six tomorrow morning to get the review out tomorrow um i may watch it later tonight we'll see um but in any case episode six comes out tomorrow um i'm the show is really 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 good Somebody said on one of my YouTube videos, uh, on one of the reviews, they were like, I wish Walton Goggins would get his own spinoff show as the ghoul to, like, see his progression from, you know, the the one-time actor, you know, into, you know, what he's become. And it's it's an interesting, it's an interesting concept. But it, the show has been very well done so far, I will say. Um, I'm, I'm happy to see more video game adaptations happening now. Uh, I know that I've always enjoyed television as a general rule, but um, like many people, I, I'm always nervous when an adaptation happens because you never know how it's going to turn out. Like um, for every Last of Us or Fallout 4, there's like, <laughs> thinking back to the um, Street Fighter film from the 90s with, with Van Damme, like there are for every really good video game adaptation, there are really, really bad but fun video game adaptations. You know, so I'm really, I'm really happy to see ones that are happening now that are critically acclaimed, well received, and getting all sorts of just attention. It's really cool. Akazar says, I play 76 with friends, getting together in Discord with a large group, taking over a server, and doing events every 20 minutes is the greatest of all time for 76 sounds like a normal fallout game it's not even the same game uh parapake says i'm watching you playing starfield on my steam deck at the same time starfield's a good game man gets way too much hate from from people akazar says i'm glad they chose to tell a new story in fallout i'm not a fan of tv shows or movies that adapt note for note right so that was the interesting thing about the the most recent halo show I think one of the reasons that the first <laughs> I'm like take a song he's getting impatient. The first season of Halo was off the book. Like completely off the book to tell a new story. And it resonated for me. It did not resonate with a lot of the hardcore neckbeard fans and they were very vocal about it on the internet. I thought it was great the way they told a brand new story and a new interpretation and I'm glad they did because when they got into season 2 Every angry neckbeard out there suddenly was saying, oh, we were wrong. Season two was amazing. We love the Halo show. And it's like, yeah, because you didn't understand slow burn world building. <laughs> but now what they've done is they've blended that original in with some of the game lore where you were coming into um, the events of, of Halo Reach, which is like the prequel game, right? And and so they did a very good job of, of like using source material as sort of a story object to work towards, but it's not like it wasn't a central part of the entire thing. The entire thing is getting to the halo, you know, and, and, and that's what everyone wants to see. So it's, it's a very cool way of doing storytelling when it happens properly. Um, but I'm, I'm much happier because otherwise you end up getting people um, who get very upset with like, um, you know, I, I definitely criticize rings of power in places but I also enjoyed it while critiquing it. And some people weren't able to enjoy it. Some people are so hardcore about the lore that they just can't. And there's a lot of angry Star Wars and Star Trek fans out there who can't handle the modern variations. So I get it. Um, you, you can't adapt everything note for note. You never should. Joe says, I love seeing more where, there's, where they would have had a game. And then while the next game is being developed, have a show going on to continue the story. The next game, next game picks up where the show ends. It would take planning, but what would be awesome? And that's kind of what, if for people who play Dungeons and Dragons or Pathfinder, um, those tabletop companies have done a very good job of maintaining storylines that arc between properties. So like Neverwinter, the MMO, also follows the same timeline as the campaigns that are coming out for the for the official Forgotten Realms licensed D and D products, so and any books that come out are also in that same timeline. So they've got, and and Star Wars is doing the same thing, and now they've got the High Republic coming in the pipeline. Um, Star Trek is doing the same thing with all their various shows that they've got going on. Um, 
it does take planning. It, more importantly, it takes a, 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 a production company who's willing to put in a quarter million dollars to a half a million dollars minimum investment to be able to pull that off because it takes a lot of money to make all that happen. Um, it's crazy. Um, just as love to see more. I would love to see more too. Akazar Space says, maybe we'll get a spy thriller star starring Goggins and the rest doing pre-war Vault Tech, West Tech, Robocop, spy versus spy thrillers. Oh, I guarantee, yeah, you're not wrong, Akazar. Um, High-level strategy meetings happening right now about the Fallout brand at Microsoft HQ. Oh, for sure. They're seeing the surge in numbers in the video game being streamed. Me being one of those people. Um, Wolfheart did a stream. Yeah, he. I don't think he had ever played Fallout 4 either. He did a stream yesterday. My, you know, my little 600 views stream. You know, I was like, that's pretty fun. And I go, Wolfheart got like 36,000 views on his first Fallout 4 stream. The hunger is there. Um, there are people out there, bigger content creators and streamers who are, everybody, everybody is doing Fallout 4 right now and um, Fallout 76 and everyone's loving the show, so that is absolutely it would be very interesting to see if there's a pivot from Bethesda um, it'll be it'll be interesting um, yeah, yeah, something to pay attention to for sure All right, talk to the settlers at Oberlon Station if I want to help the Minutemen. Um, I don't care about building defenses right now. Bring Jet to Mama Murphy. Why not? Why not? Can I track it? All right, I need to level up. I'm going to go ahead and take another point in Charisma. I'm just going to keep maxing out the Charisma for conversation stuff. As a Microsoft shareholder, Akazar says, I don't want to see the brand. Sorry, I was reading your comment trying to under... There was a part that I wasn't... My brain was trying to process. I can't wait for the next Elder Scrolls. You want to see something funny, guys? Do you want to see something funny? Since, you're, since we're on the topic... There may or may not have been an installation that happened last night of the Elder Scrolls Online. On my Series X. Because... I haven't played in a long time. I, I, I haven't played in probably three years. And I figured it was time to do some updated videos. Should I play Elder Scrolls Online in 2023? New player experience, 2024, etc. That kind of stuff. Um, I did install that last night. So the Elder Scrolls Online is, is going to be making an appearance on the channel. And I would love the next Elder Scrolls game equally to the next Fallout game. And I'm I liked Starfield a lot. Like, I can't wait for the DLC. I'm really excited about it. Ooh, mods from the show, Joe? That sounds interesting. Yeah, that's a good point. Alright, Mama Murphy. Dude, I just played the quarry this morning, Joe. Or last night. I played it last night. Um, it's funny. Chris and I were hanging out here. I recorded a 30-minute episode and then realized my microphone was turned off the whole time. I was... Like, she was laughing at me because I, I was, like, squealing at, like, mo like Ted Raimi's character during that intro. And, like, I finished the first impressions video right right at that scene when he's like, I told you to go to the hotel. And then it fades to black and we get the, the title screen. I'm going to re-record that okay, episode I'm today or tomorrow to get my first impressions out of that. Because that's Back definitely going to get a playthrough on my channel. The Cory is mocap glory Stranger Things scary super fun from the 30 minutes that I played last night uh, definitely definitely good impression Joe 
All right, I totally missed what the old lady said because I was not paying attention. I was reacting to the Corey statement because it's good. Lady, Man. come here. The site's no good without the chems. You have that jet? Sure. Here. One hit of jet. You did good. Now, let me ride the high to where the site wants to take me. Diamond City holds answers, but they're locked tight. You ask them what they know, but people's hearts are chained up with fear and suspicion. But you find it. You find that heart that's gonna lead you to your boy. Oh, it's... it's bright. So bright against the dark alleys it walks. Okay. That's... that's what you need to do, kid. Follow the signs to the bright heart. Phew. Wow. That took more out of me than usual. I'm gonna need to rest now, kid. Alright, see you, Mama Murphy. Thanks very much. Did I ever play Until Dawn? I did not, Joe. Akazar says, as someone bored with high fantasy, I, I could care less about Elder Scrolls and wish they would make more Fallout, but I recognize them in the minority and that most people love it. Um, yeah, I would definitely love more sci-fi overall. That's why I'm a, I, I, Starfield, Cyberpunk and Starfield for me, those two games this year, this past year, um, were a breath of fresh air because I feel like everything that comes out is like fantasy related a lot. So um, hang on, wait. No, not until dawn. I'm thinking of something else, Joe. I did just play um, uh, a video, a game called um, Once Human. That's definitely going to make another appearance here this week because it's like a sci-fi. I don't want to say horror. There were some jump scare elements, but it, it was more suspense, like sci-fi suspense, crafting survival. It was a weird blend. Uh, I'll definitely do some more of that here on the channel as well. Um, but it was definitely interesting. Um, But the big thing too is I think that um, something like Fallout Fallout is more accessible to as we're I think we're seeing that right now everyone is watching the Fallout show and everyone is loving it like it's not just the Fallout nerds it's not just the Bethesda fanboys everyone is loving the Fallout show and I think that as a shareholder and as a company you're going you look at something like that and go we would be stupid to not like capitalize on all of this attention that we've got at the moment and do something more fallout related i would say it's a guarantee that we're getting a second season for sure um beyond that who knows all right i think i can go to raider troubles at the overland station how far away is that that is a ways. I can pick it right up at the uh, assembly plant. I wonder if I should have dropped off goodies. I'm not going to stress about it now. Let's move, puppy. Got a nice gentle acid rain. Doesn't burn too much. Maybe stings just a little. Hey, you might get your wish, man. Like, this could be a big enough thing that they look at it and go, Hey, you know what? We're going to spin off this little side studio and they're only going to work on... Oh, you found something. What'd you find? Okay. Oh, is it an ammo box? Dude. Thank you. How do I how do I like pet you, you doing, and buddy? say good job, buddy? Never mind. Eh, never mind, boy. Sorry, buddy. Talk to you for nothing. 
There's no no scritch command. There needs to be a scritch command, damn it. I hear music. Why are there, like, ravens or something all over the place here? That doesn't sound creepy at all. Alright, um, there's a bridge there we're gonna have to go across, isn't it, aren't we? Dude, and you know what's really funny too, though, is that because after Starfield, and all the chatting, chattiness of the companions and all the, you know, non, non-stop random barks dog meat doesn't bark at all <laughs> that's other than the dog bark like he has no other bark like there's no incessant chatting and I feel like this is like the perfect wasteland companion like he's there he helps he's loyal you know he's good in a fight it's a great companion I don't need chatty robot or some some guy in my ear. Dusty. 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 Shut the fuck up, Barrett. Leave me alone. Alright. Might as well. Do I. Is this. This is probably a big building that I need to clear. Let's just check over here before we do that. Need to get back to Diamond City one of these days. Biggest town I ever hey. saw. Did the Minutemen send you? Yes, I'm here to help. What's the problem? There's a group of raiders that won't leave us alone. Stealing our food and supplies and threatening us if we can't give them what they want. We know where they're coming from, but we can't stand up to them ourselves. Any idea how many raiders we're talking about? No telling, I'm afraid. This time there were three. But who knows how many are back at their base? Did it automatically up to the map? Kill the raiders in back in back street apparel. Oh, so it's a little location. Okay. How far away is it? It's down there by Diamond City, okay. I actually have Diamond City I think is like a waypoint for one of the quests related to this guy's son I think well off we go Is that a road? That is a... No, just a path. Dead ends down here. Okay, is there a bridge on the map anywhere? All the way over there to the east? Is that the only bridge? Well, I guess there's one to the... I'm on the right side, though. Right? Yeah, I'm on the right side, so I just need to go down there. Alright. That would be a dream team, man. Members of N Exile, Bethesda and Obsidian. Bunch of heavy hitters. Just give them, like, 
do a 20 man team give him 50 million dollars and just tell him to go nuts you know what I mean like <laughs> Go forth and create good works. Oh man, I'm gonna have to go up in here, aren't I? Shit. Alright. Well, oh, I just heard gunfire. Yep, I totally just heard gunfire. Yep, right up there. Well, I'm gonna ignore those dudes. Come on. Let's go, dog meat. Anything? I think we're good. Let them fight it out. We're going we're going another way. We're 80 meters out. I should quick save once we get up here. Yeah, we're gonna tuck in here. Quick save. Oh, there's somebody there for sure. Shit. Back up, back up, back up. Back up. I need like a proper sniper rifle. And we're definitely there. Oh, there's two. I'm not going to take everything right now because I really don't. I do want to take the stim pack though. Alright, I ran in too quick. I was about to use a stim and didn't get it. Um, we'll be more careful at the door now. Um, let's go. Right there. Let's do right arm. Go. Oh, we got a turret or something. I got you, buddy. Disappearing act. 
Huh? <laughs> oh, I don't have any grenades left. Oh, but I bet I do have, um... I bet I have Molotovs. You guys are Show your face! Come on! I dare you! No sign of him now. Nice. That's what I was looking for. Credit. Let's All loot right. up. Who's There's, there? You know what? Let's go take care of that guy. Then we'll come back. You what is this? Stirred up over nothing. This is an armor workbench, so we could definitely take armor pieces. So we can break those down. Um Ooh, we got a terminal. Pocket watch. Molotov, short pipe rifle. Yeah. Let's break these down first. Scrap. I did play Fallout 3 when it came out, Layla. Uh, that was the one with uh, Liam Neeson. I liked it a lot. I had a lot of fun with it. I think that was right after Bethesda bought it, if I'm not mistaken. As a matter of fact, that was their first one. Um, take that, take that, that, that. I don't think we need anything else in here, do we? Yeah, there's this. I'm not very good at these. It's all right. I did a couple of them this morning to success. Sweet. Interesting. So, it would have been the other way in. Alright, I think that's all we need for the credit, but I think there was a couple more of these stairs. Through the door. Where were they? We totally heard him crying yeah. about things. Hearing shit. Oh, you'll be more than hearing it here in a second, buddy. Payback time, buddy. <laughs> Let's do some V8 over here. Uh, let's go for the headshot. Boom! Shakalaka! Buddy. I need to teach you how to not um, get hurt so much. Squirrel bits? Hey, what is this? Glow sided automatic pipe Where rifle? Go? I'm gonna take the squirrel bits, man. When you turn up, you're dead. I'm gonna do more than turn up. Time to reel them in. We good? I think we'll. I think we're good. 
Anything of note in here? Some dog food. It's worth something. Cap stash. Also worth something. Canned dog food. Take it. Stim pack. Board game. What do we got over here? Ooh, we got a safe. Won't Ooh. be able to pick this. I can't pick it. It's a master lock. I've gone down the charisma path rather than the lockpick path. That's my first one that I couldn't unlock. Where are you going? Where are you going? Nice. Smeagol, Smeagol, Smeagol. Where are you going, buddy? Hang on. What is a stealth boy? That's the thing that allows you to use stealth stuff, isn't it? I can't remember if that's like a buff or something. Take all. No, Spiegel. Come here, buddy. I gotta... I'll be right back. Joe says, I'd love to see remakes of Fallout 3 in New Vegas, but using the mechanics from 4. Akazar says, there's the ultra violence I'm talking about. Yeah. You can cook soup with the squirrel bits. Huh. Oh yeah, I'll be taking all sorts of stuff along the way. I invested, I invested points in hacking and um, lock picking, but I haven't taken them beyond the first stage because I've been putting all my points in charisma to win conversation checks, knowing that I can get everything I want long term. I'm just gonna dump everything in charisma until I've maxed it out, and then I'm gonna turn around and start working on my lock picking. What's the Minuteman outfit look like? Alright, that's, that's... We'll do that instead of my jumpsuit. Definitely. Yeah, that look, doesn't look too bad from behind anyway. I need to see a better picture of it. But, yeah. Report your success to the settlers at Overland Station. It's crosswords without intersecting words. I'll, I'll, I'm getting together with you tonight, and when we're at the, like after the <clears throat> guild meeting, I'll probably have you give me a walkthrough of that hacking tip you said, Makazar. Another day of hard work. Did you have any luck with those raiders? 
Oh, sorry, my gun's right in your face. I took care of those raiders for you. Really? That's the best news I've heard in a long time. By the way, we've talked about it, and we've decided to support the Minutemen. I think it's worth giving it another chance. The only way things will get better is if we stand together. All right, that's quest done. Talk to Preston. What's up, Sean? I'm very, I'm pretty happy with that outfit. It's not bad. Like the Minuteman outfit is not bad at all. I wish you could get a different angle on it. This is before photo modes, right? <laughs> I like the coloring though. That's a pretty cool looking outfit. Like with the armor, I'm feeling pretty tough right now. Like. You want to start something? Boom. Boom. You want my two camps? We should keep moving. I don't want to be pinned down when the raiders come. Can I augment anything yet? I can. What is pocketed? Improves carrying capacity. Well, why, yes, I will. Boiled leather, grilled leather. Oh, baby. Girded, not. What, what did I say? Grilled? <laughs> oh, I need a steak, is what I need right now. Maxing out your relationship with a companion unlocks special perks. Copy that. I've now updated all of my gear. Well, all of my armor, anyway. Can I put those goggles on my dog? I knew I could give him on... I don't like him for me. I just was wearing them. Where's the dog meat? Come here, buddy. Hang on. I probably need to take him off first. I didn't realize he could wear goggles. I knew he could wear the bandana. I gave him the bandana um, the other day. <clears throat> I want, like, glasses or something. I haven't found anything. Or a cool hat. Um, where the hell are my glasses? Get my outfit. Welding goggles. Do I just click once? There we go. Why am I carrying a left leg? What was it broken? Dude, doggy, come here. Hey. Of course, now I gotta find him down in here somewhere. Oh, 
Oh my goodness, there needs to be like a sort button here. Is there no sort? Oh, there is a sort. Uh, LS. Sort. What is it sorting by? Sort damage. Sort. What is ROF? Oh, I see. Okay, okay. Thank you. Thank you. I never saw the I never saw the uh I totally wasn't paying attention to the fact that you go left or right on the top there where it says like my weapons, my apparel. Thank you for mentioning that in chat. Um Yeah. yeah, yeah. Uh, Cody said, did you know you can adjust the FOV while in third person? I did not, because I very rarely play in third person. I would only ever do it for, like, a screenshot. Hold the view button. Pull the right joystick up or down. Alright. Groovy. I never found that cave. I haven't gone looking for it, Jibram. I'm, I know there was a note that mentioned a cave underneath the uh, or a cellar or something underneath red rock but i haven't gone looking for it armor category all right so hang on gas mask oh i got a militia hat dude i want to wear that hold on we got to remember that remind me that there's a hat because i'm going to go back to it there they are welding goggles uh we want to Give this to him. Go over to him. Equip those. What the hell? He can actually wear those. Dude. Dude. Come here, man. Dog. Where is he taking off to? Come back. I need to see those. Come here. Hey. Wait there. Dude. I love it. Who's a good boy? <laughs> Who's a good boy? That's cool. Alright. Somebody says RF is probably rate of fire. Alright. Could be. Let's get out of the rain for a second. I need to check out that hat. <laughs> Does it look good on me? About to find out. It's not bad. It's not the worst hat ever. I'll take it just because it fits. It fits with the, you know, rest of the theme. Look at the girding on my leather. Look at the stitching. I'm good. I'm a crafter. You should be jealous. This is hot boy armor. Gotta get some of that soft dad going on. Drizzle, drizzle. <laughs> I took care of the raiders that were harassing that settlement you sent me to. The people there have decided to join our cause. That's great news. One day we'll be strong enough to drive that scum out of the commonwealth for good as usual I i'm thinking i'm thinking i need to go get those sunglasses the scouts yeah. have found a promising spot for a new settlement <laughs> the trouble is that some kind of vicious beasts are lairing there vicious Once beasts clear it out, set up a radio beacon to let settlers know about it before you know it we'll have a thriving new farm instead of wasteland we'll take back the commonwealth one piece at a time i'm a big fan of like the flat brim clint eastwood style from like Outlaw Josie Wales, if that's the, if that's the right movie I'm remembering. I really loved the fact. Uh, one of the things I loved the most in Red Dead Redemption 2 was just the customization of the character. Hey, come on. Um, because you could get some truly cool like outfits in Red Dead Redemption 2. I mean, they had 
hundreds of variants on like the hats and the pants and the chaps and the boots and the belts and the gun holsters and the shotgun holsters and the saddles and the stirrups and the types of saddlebags and the types of saddle packs and the sa types of bed rolls and it got even crazier when you got into like the online portion of Red Dead. Um, it was a great game. Joe says I like Preston's hat better. Usually steal it if I'm gonna go with that look. All right, so everybody's telling me I need to go find these these glasses over at the. Um... Do I have anything else I need to drop off? I hold on before we go. Before we go. I don't think there's anything else I need to deposit. I just want to double check. A little bit. Um. I never opened. Are those things I can open? I guess I never really paid attention. Pin, storage key, junk. Yeah, I haven't touched these. What do you do with them? You click them. Bonds. Oh, so they're mo Okay, okay, okay. Never mind. So these can't be like. All right. These are the things they had before, and then I took them off to make my own mods, and so. It stored the original mods. Okay, that's where they went. All right. Oh, we need to level up. Um, I'm going pure charisma all the way to the end. All right. Red rocket. They mentioned a cave in the notes. I think the notes were on the drive. I'm going to go run in there really quick and double check. I vaguely remember something about that. That's my core set. But, uh, I need... what you find, buddy? What are you looking at? I don't know what you're looking at, buddy. Uh, I don't remember where it was. No, it's... Hang on, I clicked the wrong thing. Business entries... Safe storage. Take care of those barrels before you leave tonight. Inspectors are coming first thing in the morning. Hide them with the others. We'll figure out a solution later. Nature is going to favor us with a cave below the shop. Who am I to argue? So am I looking for barrels? It says it's right beneath the shop. So it's got to be something relatively close. I wouldn't imagine this being a cave entrance that's going to be like a kilometer away that they make me go through rat ghoul infested. caverns, tunnels. This is like, that's the front. This would have been the gas station. Alright. Anything? We've got tires. Oh, let's get sidetracked really quick. Because I can totally make things now. Ooh, what are caltrips? Ooh! Interesting. Any sort of like... It's a trash, it's not like, not like a lid to the cellar. I'm a workbench we're already good with. There's nothing immediately obvious.
Crispy squirrel bits. Baked bloat fly. Death claw steak. Ooh, that gives me an agility buff. Real rad roach. Oh, I could do more. Hold on. Hey, man, it's free XP. I wish there was like a craft all button. That'd be a lot cooler if there was. Alright, so there's soups, utility buffs, beverages. Exit. Alright, there could be a cave entrance. Oh, hang on, there's some barrels here. They were talking about barrels in that note. Dog meat might, might lead me to it, you never know. Oh, 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 found it, found it, found it. Alright. Mole rat den. Fuck, there's gonna be stuff down there, isn't there? Let's hope none of this is explosive, because I have shitty aim. Oh, Jesus, Mary and Joseph! Brain fungus, what? All right. There's a lot of it, that's nasty, man. Metal bucket. Coolant. Squirrel bit. Come down, go left, or we can go right. Let's go anywhere? We just took rads from something. Oh, it's those barrels, probably. Alright, let's go left first. I don't know what these are for. Oh, what the fudge? A glowing ah! Gotta remember vats, man. Gotta remember. I always forget. Any more? Good for the moment. It's a novice. Thanks, Rabble. Appreciate it. I don't think there's anything else down here. I don't need the wrench. Oh, 
Oh, it's that machine that's putting it out. Okay. Uh. Oh, I definitely need the fusion core. Sweet. So that'll be for my core. Um, I've got my core machine back at the base. I think I've got it hung up Red Rocket, actually. I've got the, the secondary machine at the main base. That's cool, though. So now I can... You know, if I get to a point where I need some extra firepower, I can go back and grab one of my power armor sets. All right, uh, let's quick save. I need to take some rad away. good. Alright. Let's do another quick save. What is next? Clear the starlight drive-in. Not too far from Bedford Station. Nuka-Cola, the most popular American soda before the war. saw something. Oh, they're cows. We're good. Are they going to come for us? No, they're going to run away from us. Oh, Jesus, Mary and Joseph. That's my new that's my new funny one. I don't know where that came from. <laughs> We've been doing it a lot the last few days. It's getting repetitive. i got to find a new phrase. Alright, you know what? Did I, did I still miss that stupid bird? Bird, mosquito, float fly. Finally. What am I taking rads from, man? Okay, I can hear a radio for sure going on right now. Something going up to the roof. Nothing up here. Oh, we can go up too. What do we got here? Flip lighter. We got a pistol. We've got duct tape, turpentine, bobby pin. Ooh, a yellow fedora. I'm gonna have to try that out here in a second. I don't need a lantern. I do need to turn the radio off though, because those things. Did we just trigger a trap somewhere? Um, that would be the answer to that question.
God, how how far back was my save? Oh my God, that was forever ago. Okay, so this game does not auto save very often. Back. All right, I gotta remember that. I gotta quick save more frequently. All right, we're gonna get those bot flies first. Let's quick save. Oh, I don't remember what his name is. I'm curious, George. That's a good question. Apparel. Where did it go? Did I pick it up? Oh, I got that before I died. That's right. I'm herping and derping. Alright, buddy. There's probably going to be some of those bot flies around here. Maybe not. Let's try this again. Quick save. Whoa! I saw it that time, right as right as I was getting in here, I saw it. So that's the door one. Okay. That second one has got to be down here somewhere. It's a mine. I don't know what it looks like yet. What the hell does a mine look like? Huh. Alright, we're good. Okay. Clear the starlight drive in. Let's roll out. Oh, we got mole rats. <laughs> Oh, that was it? Nice. Did I get rabies? I hope not. Those were totally rabid, man. Alright, that was that. Taking point, Starlight Drive-In, build and activate recruitment radio beacon. Do I make that here? Because don't I have to have like the workbenches and stuff? I bet I need to go back to the base to make it. Oh no, hang on, it's pointing me over here.
duct tape, bag of cement, pipe wrench. Have some privacy. Okay, now I gotta remember what I was trying to make. Recruitment radio beacon. What's that going to be under? Resources? Miscellaneous? Ah, there's something over here. Siren. Fast travel target. What? You could build fast travel waypoints? Pillary barber chair. No, these aren't it either. What the heck would this be under? read that quest scenario. build and activate a recruitment radio beacon I don't see that as a as a recipe anywhere and what does the exclamation point mean oh because it has zero defense huh I'll go look it up here in a minute, because uh, I have no idea what it would be under. Someone's suggesting power. Oh, maybe miscellaneous. Recruitment radio beacon. There it is, everybody. Thank you very much. This object requires power. I need to build a generator. Does it matter which generator? I could make a medium. Why not? Now run a wire from the generator to the object that needs power. Do I also have to craft the wire? You can run a wire directly. You see them? Some small objects like lights get power from a nearby generator. Or from a nearby power connector, sorry. Well, first... Because technically, I crafted this, right? Did it... Run a wire from the generator. Okay. So here's a question I have. I may be just stupid. I just, like, I just made the object, right? Is it in my inventory? The radio tower and the generator? Because I have to place them somehow. This is the part that really confuses the hell out of me. Because we only did the little bit um, the other day. Build and activate. Let's 
So run a wire now? Okay, connectors and switches. These are... Uh-uh. Power conduit? These are different types of conduit. Hang on, is that wire too? No, it's just conduit. Fallout is not my main game. I am playing this for the first time. It's even in the title of the video. It's my first playthrough. Okay, these are all conduits. I'm looking for wiring right now, guys. Sorry, like I know, I know the. So I realize that people who are watching this right now, who have played this a million times, are like, "Push the button, you fucking idiot!" I'm sorry. It's my first time. I'm medicated. I'm going through this learning. <laughs> right now, I want to figure out how to make the wiring. Because it says, run a wire from the generator. And so I'm looking for wire now. How do I make wire? Because I made the generator. Or I thought I made the generator. But now it says run a wire from the generator. So this is what I'm trying to do. I'm trying to find where the wire is. Elizabeth, I'm going to give you the easiest tip. I play a lot of games. I'm a variety streamer, so um, my main jam is over on YouTube. So there's a link somewhere because you, you're coming over from Twitch. I'm multi-streaming right now on YouTube and Twitch. The easiest answer to that is to check out the past streams here on Twitch and also check out over on YouTube because... This is my day job. I play a ton of different games. So that's a power counter. Firing target. Huh. You don't craft the wire, you click on the generator and will auto craft a cord. So I don't see the generator. This is my confusion. Is that I, I see a work you know, there's the workbench. I have a wood crate. Oh, it put it out back. Okay, so forgive me for not knowing this everybody. I didn't see that it was placing these things right behind the building. So Now there's an attach wire button. Okay. Attach wire. And now attach wire. I didn't know that it had automatically placed them. I thought I was supposed to manually place them. And so I was trying to figure out where is the green object that you move around that, you know what I mean? Because, like, if I'm going to go place something, like a when I was doing the plants yesterday. Where the fuck the plants are. Alright, I want to plant food. Like, I go over here. And I click on something. I don't have any in my... Oh, right there. That's what I was looking for. This right here. Do you see this on my screen? I was looking for that. Because I thought that I needed to take that generator icon. Place it down. And also the tower. I thought I needed to craft the tower. And then place it down when it goes green. Then go back and connect the wiring between the two. I thought I had to craft the wire. The tutorial is not exactly explicit on what you're supposed to do. So, And I appreciate those of you who are trying to minimalize the back seating. Because ma many of you have played this game 20 different times. And I know it can be frustrating to watch a complete newbie. Because you're like, it's so fucking simple. Just click the thing, man. So I appreciate it. <laughs> Alright, so... Now, I should be able to close this down. I should have a quest update now. To go back and talk to Preston. Alright, cool. Perfect. Preston, where you at, brother? He 
sleeping? We're gonna wake him up. Preston. 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 I hope you find your son. This place is really starting to come together. Yeah, turn your Bethesda stocking ass around here and talk to me. I cleared out that spot you sent me to and set up a radio beacon there. That's great news. Once folks have some place to call their own, they'll be willing to help defend it. As usual, I have something else for you to look into. I'll mark it on your map. We can use all the support we can get. So see what you can do to help. Perfect. Taking point, Starlight Drive-In. That's completed. We now have an updated map. Ooh, ghoul problem. That sounds like something we need to do after we sleep and it's daylight. We'll sleep till 8 a.m. I'm gonna go get a drink and I'll be right back. At least it's not raining. I'm always glad to see the sun come up one more time. Another day in the Commonwealth. Mm-hmm. 
I just saw the hat over in Discord. That is a cool looking hat, the ghoul's hat. That is a cool looking hat. I like the duster jacket you've got too. That looks like Liar just confirmed for Wednesday night. Alright, that's done. <clears throat> yeah, I've just been watching YouTube videos as I come as I come across things that I get that I don't understand. I was getting to the point where I was going to go watch a YouTube tutorial to try to figure out what I was missing about the generator thing until I went outside and around the back and there's the generator in the radio tower. It was like oh my god. The very um frustration moment there for sure of like ow, oh, I've been looking around trying to find the thing that I needed to place and it was already placed all right something about ghoul problems but I think do we have anything we need yeah we need to break some stuff down Good. I'll try to make myself useful. <laughs> no one wants to see a grown man feeling sorry for himself. Huh. All right, now I do have a fusion core. Uh, I wonder. Well. Where is the ghoul quest on the map? Talk to the settlers at Green Top Nursery. Oh wow, that's a ways over there. Probably my smartest move would be to go over there on foot, check out their problem, and then if I need to come back, I can go to Red Rocket and pick up my, uh, I've got a fully repaired set of power armor there, and I've got a fusion core that I just picked up. We gotta go down a ways. Alright, I'm gonna finish eating my sandwich here, everybody. Make a move, and I'll end you, Wastelander. The only way you get over <coughs> this job, my arm is safe. Everyone's out to kill you. I've got a few minutes to browse. Don't cheap out on armor. That's a good way to get yourself killed.
All right, have a good night, Trebron. <clears throat> Get placed at center screen beyond the bench or outside the shed. Yeah, that sounds about right. Damage 25, damage resist. Stone Mover says there's some crazy amazing bases people have built. I want to build like a giant tree house around the big tree in the home settlement. Nice. Oh, hang on. I didn't pay attention to the fact that he's only got 243. Hang on. He's not going to be able to buy all my stuff. There we go. I've maxed him out. Man, sometimes there is a simple pleasure in eating a basic peanut butter and honey sandwich. That was tasty. I like crunchy, crunchy peanut butter. I also like bread and honey. Just, just good old white bread with good old, good old hot, fresh bread with butter and honey. Good stuff, man. How far away are we? I didn't even pay attention. Yeah, we gotta go ways on foot. Dog found an enemy. Lead on, dog. Fried peanut butter and banana sandwich? I don't know about that. <laughs> Fuck me, I should've gone. Ah, hang on. Okay, you just need... I just gotta remember VATS. There is no reason for me to try to be manually aiming this shit when I got VATS. It's just a force of habit. I haven't played this in so long. The series. I just gotta remember, you always gotta use your VATS, baby. Radio not work? Apparently not. So he's got his barbecue grill up here. He's got a a beer bucket. Okay, what was he looking at? What? Look, seriously? Die. You did now. Anyway, 
something out over there, way off in the distance. All right, let's keep moving. some sort of a structure down there it's definitely a building over here is that a boathouse no it's an overturned boat it just look weird from up top there what I barely heard whatever's on the loudspeaker Trespassers and communists? Are they bad guys? Waitron will take your order. <coughs> Waitron. Um, let's ask about the skeletons. What's with all the bodies? We do have a lot of satisfied customers, don't we? <laughs> they almost never leave. They almost I never leave. I still have one booth left. It'd be my pleasure to serve you. I'm just looking. I'm just looking around. Let me know if you need anything. Sugar? Ha! There is an awful lot of skeletons here, man. The customers are so happy, they never leave. Do stay out of the kitchen. Health regulations, you know. The director has sanctioned the use of lethal wars against looters. Looters, okay. Gosh, how close am I to my quest objective? Um, I feel like this is something we're gonna get sidetracked in. <coughs> Welcome to the General Atomics Gallery. You must be our new supervisor. New supervisor? Sorry, what? You're waiting for your supervisor? Unfortunately, yes. If you happen to meet that laggard, let him know that he is 210 years late for his scheduled shift. I need him to report to the director's office in the statue for immediate assignment. In I guess... the meantime, I'm afraid the Galleria is closed to the general public. Sounds like we're but about to get if you sidetracked. Have any questions, I'd be happy to assist you. Who's the director? General Atomics Patented Director Management System, DMS, Thanks, peasant. is responsible for coordinating <laughs> the actions of the robots here at the Galleria. The director allows the Galleria to operate autonomously without the need for human intervention. Why is the Galleria closed? I'm sorry, but due to pending litigation, I am unable to comment. Please direct your inquiries to the General Atomics Legal Affairs Division. That's all. Very well. Have a nice day. The director has sanctioned the use of lethal force against looters. All right, here we go. <clears throat> Actually, let's untrack that, and we're gonna track this. We're good. Any deviation from standard operating procedures must be authorized by the director. What'd you find, dog? Oh. Yeah, yeah. Lead on.
What did you find? Is it the rounds of ammo? Would you like a table? All right, thanks, buddy. This is like an elevator. As ordered. Reporting in? Wait, the grand reopening? Are you ha! grand reopening? You just reminded me, we went to that cave and I never did find those shades. Grand reopening? Alright, listen up! The grand reopening protocol will distribute software upgrades to all employees and reopen the Galleria. Manual authorization of the grand reopening requires authentication, so I'm going to need to see your ID. Sir. Uh, oh. Hmm. What ID? Explanation issued. This is a threat. Present your ID. Uh oh. Let's see if I've got enough charisma. Wait, manual activation. Is there any other kind? Automatic activation was scheduled for January first, twenty seventy-eight. Wait. Analyzing. Corrupt task detected. Task scheduler repaired. Now executing previously scheduled task. Accessing protocols. All units, stand by for the grand reopening. Processing firmware updates. Done. Reinstating combat inhibitors. As the grand reopening supervisor, you will be conducting tonight's customer appreciation raffle. Here is the grand prize. That'll be all, soldier. Dismissed. I got pre-war money. Our systems are operating at peak efficiency. That's funny, man. Do I need to get on this thing first? Yeah, that was it. All right. I'm going to go back to the cave really quick. Where were those shades you guys were talking about earlier? Because we totally went to the cave and then I got sidetracked by something. And I just realized I never went and got those sunglasses that he was telling me about. Alright, we'll come back here. Feral ghouls, man. We faced off some of those against some of those the other day. That was not cool. All right, that cave was down here somewhere. Somebody said there were sunglasses down in here, and I don't remember getting sunglasses out of here. So I think I may have missed something. that I could swear I looted everything down here I did not shotgun shells doggy you're in my way graduated cylinder
There's a wrench. Akazar says they're on a ledge next to a skeleton and a burnt book. I'm going to have to find... The cave's not that big. I'm trying to find said ledge. There's nothing in there. I don't see any skeleton in there. Ah, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. This might be it. There's a burnt book right here. They're on a ledge. Oh, oh. Dude, I never would have seen those. Like, how the hell? Like, unless my unless my um, cursor just happened to be like moving over the rock. Four thousand hours. <laughs> yeah, that's, that makes sense. Go outside and see what these look like. Oh yeah, that's much that's much more acceptable. Definitely more acceptable. Yeah, I could dig it. I still would prefer a flat brimmed hat. But this will do. It'll keep most of the most of the uh, sun and shit out of my off my face. All right. Top nursery. Dog, you found something. Was it a, a a mine that you found, sir? Good boy. <laughs> a little too late, though. I hear gunfire. Yeah. Shit, that's a lot of dogs. Um No, no. Get over the other dog. Ah, what's it doing? What's it doing? Nice done. Took care of it, didn't we? That's right. I'll take your none of it. I just want the ammo.
village off to the right. Structures right up ahead. This is what we're look. This is what we're heading to. These structures right here. All right, dog meat. Let's take our time. This is somebody's greenhouse. If they're taking the time to grow plants like this. They're not bad people, you would think. I'm just going to take a couple. I can go plant them back at my home base. Thank you. All right. Wakey, wakey. <laughs> I like how he just politely coughs, like standing at the edge of her mattress. <laughs> Get up, bitch! You're with the Minutemen, right? I am. What seems to be the problem? A pack of feral ghouls have holed up nearby, and some of them have started wandering out lately. If more of them start wandering out this way, we, we may be overrun. We need someone to clear them out. Are ghouls a common problem? I don't know. Maybe there's more of them lately, but maybe it just feels that way sometimes. I'm on it. It's as good as done. I'll be glad to have them gone. All right, what do we got right here? Buff out? All right. Okay. Kill the ghouls in National Guard training yard. Show on the map. Question is, everybody, should I go grab my power armor or just do it raw? I think I'm gonna go get my power armor. I've got a full suit, I got a brand, I got a full up um, fusion cell. We're gonna rest until daylight, then I'm gonna grab my suit. I guess we're good to go. That's good. All right, now we roll. What time is it? Hang on, I gotta pay attention because we gotta meeting tonight. Oh, I still got an hour and a half. Um, what is it? We're two hours in? Yeah, I'll probably just stream up until the meeting. And then call it a night. And then I'll go do my meeting and some video production. Get a couple of things ready for tomorrow morning. Oh, I thought my suit was completely repaired. It is not. Um, don't I have to go hook it to repair it? Hold that thought. I thought this one was repaired. Apparently it's not. I could have sworn this was fully repaired. Oh, that's a cra crazy sounding storm. Am I missing a component? <laughs> this one doesn't have all the pieces it does. I thought it did. Hold that thought. I think I got in the wrong one. That's why. That was the replacement piece. This was my original full set. God, I'm herping and derping. Yeah, here we go. I went and got the wrong suit.
There we go. I was gonna say, I thought, I thought that this was uh, all right. I have like 40% on this core, and then I have another core that I can use. All right. I could have picked up the, uh, I had the minigun back at the garage too and I left it on the floor. It's alright, we don't have to have the minigun for everything we do. Yeah, I've got, I've got partials in each suit and then I got a full one in my inventory. Yeah, the new Fallout series is awesome, Ross. I'm going to go watch uh, episode 6 tonight after the meeting and then uh, get a review up for the first thing tomorrow morning. Only three more episodes to go. Pistol because I don't want to deal with this. Now, hang on, why does it go between? Oh, there was a button to, to do a critical, and I didn't. Um... We need to move because that turret is going to eat me alive. As the show would say, fuck, 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 I really just miss. I hate those turrets, man. There's another one. Why did I hit the bow? I didn't mean to do that. Get back in. I'm still getting used to the control structure. I'm playing so much PS5 stuff the last couple of weeks. Is this a door? Oh, I can't. Yeah, I can't do mastery yet. Could have 
sworn I heard something. I did hear something. I heard a ghoul. There's a downed um, chopper. Probably nothing left in there. Is that a turret? Frack, it's a turret. Guarantee there's another one up there. No, well, maybe not. There might be inside. We're gonna go find out. Oh fuck! There's definitely a. <laughs> Those things are all over the place. Yeah, I got a crit, baby. I finally paid attention to the flashing buttons. Up and at him, puppy dog. Okay, we're definitely going through there. Let's finish looting the place first. Start at the Lost Patrol, investigate the battle site. Hollow tape, hollow tag, fusion cell, automatic laser pistol, combat armor chest piece. Hang on, I actually picked up her. Okay. It's like a side quest. heard like a ghoul sound of like oh, ah. Blamco mac and cheese National Guard office password do I have to read it? Possibly. Save, stretch, and hydrate. 
Stretches sound good right about now. I do need to save. Uh, what did I just loot? Um, miscellaneous. Like a password. Inspect. I guess I can't do anything with it. It's an automatic use thing, maybe? I'm not going to listen to Holotape yet because I don't want to get sidetracked on missions. Oh yeah, you just insert it. Okay, perfect. Civil unrest reported. Access granted authorized personnel only. Security door control. Open door. All right, that is a quick save moment, and I am gonna take a brief moment to do some stretches and cardio. I'll be back.
little bit of push-ups and squats to get the heart going. All right, let me check a couple of things here. Answer some comments over on the YouTube. Crunchy doors, I heard something behind us. All right. Let's go through the door. Bada boom! Feels so satisfying. Good boy. Good boy, dog meat. Oh, that sounds like a. What you would call it? Hang on, what's it keep? That didn't sound good. Oh! Ha! <laughs> it just, like, shoved him against the wall. That was great. I am, however, running low on ammo. But I totally heard like a turret. If I'm not mistaken. What is. Ah! Oh, that's a that's something else. Hello, that's something else. Uh, a feral. Execute critical. Oh, shaka laka. Oh, I just totally suck at that one. Oh! <laughs> Good job, buddy. on ammo. Bottle cap. Bottle cap. Research test tube. Bottle cap. Alright, we're going up. I hear something over here. 
There's a radio signal. Hypervolver pistol, sure. Two million men around, sure. Saboyban, I'll take it. Unlock National Escort Sector. Alright, we can unlock this. Password required. Alright. System lockdown in response to civil unrest. Access granted to authorized personnel only. Password override detected. Armory management and inventory system. Please enter your command. Remote dual control, control. Unlock the door. Is it unlocked? It must be. Good. Now, now we gotta find the door. Oh, I've got something down there now, don't I? Okay. Ah, oh, man. I need to, um... Yeah, I'm gonna be out of ammo on this thing now. Uh, something green and nasty's down there. Oh no, I got something all up on me. All the ghouls just rezzed up. What the hell? Oh. Molotov. Did we survive? What the hell, man? Somebody says cigs are worth more than fresh water. Wait, is he still getting attacked? Oh, the green, green. Oh, no. Hello. Puppy dog, I know you're not doing good. Let me get out of here. I'm like out of ammo too. Oh no, you're good. All right. That was intense. 
But we survived. And now I can go back and repair my armor. And save the suit for another day. I'm really glad I brought the suit for this mission. Ah, oh, now I can hear creepies. Where's a door, buddy? Let's get the frack out of here. I got like no ammo left. You love the dog with the sounds it makes when you get hit. <laughs> yeah, the glowing ones totally battle res their buddies, man. Alright, I need to go back to my base camp. I am like... Wounded, low, and treacherous, man. I need to hang up my armor and do a repair. Let's drop this one at the Red Rocket Shop. Ah, oh, there's enemy nearby. Open the door, man. I don't know where their enemies are, but let's get out of here. Nothing chasing us. There we go. Do some repairs. All right, I'm running low on uh, a lot of those supplies, so I need to start looting up more of those again. Hang on, you can modify? What? What? You could put paint on it? I totally. It says if all pieces are painted, you get a charisma. Hang on. Why not, guys? Why not? the last one right so this increases charisma with all pieces painted all pieces are painted now right oh yeah okay now we can do some other mods so let's start with the torso model a model b improves all right circuitry. I haven't found very many of those. So apparently we're going to need more. So that just essentially I just put a brand new paint job on him. That's so cool. And supposedly I get a charisma boost. So what's my charisma right now? Uh, 
My charisma is 11. Charisma is now 10. So I must be getting the buff when I'm not wearing it? Whatevs. We'll figure it out later. We got some food I need to eat. Baked bloat fly. Let's do some canned dog food. We good? We're good. I need to turn back in over to these people. This be the quest. The boost I stack with the gear you're wearing? Okay. Were you able to clear out those goals? Took care of those ghouls that were giving you trouble. You did? Oh, that is great news. Fella, you and the Minutemen have our gratitude and our support. And our support. Oh. For taking care of those ferals. One less thing to worry about around here. You are welcome. I'm just checking my socials real quick. Man, I might break a thousand followers on TikTok today. I remember the last time I had clean fingernails. It's growing faster than Twitch, which is interesting. For those of you tuning in for the first time today, don't forget we are multi-streaming on YouTube and Twitch, so you can choose where you watch, watch live. And I do stay pretty active on TikTok, building that account up. Alright. Cool problem. Let's report back to Preston. 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 Yeah. I cleared out the ghouls that were giving that settlement trouble. Glad to hear it, General. It's hard enough out here without people having to worry about ghouls in their backyard. Got another thing to talk to you about. What's up? We've gotten big enough that we're having trouble communicating with all our settlements. It's a good problem to have. And I have a solution. I think it's time to retake the castle. It used to be the Men and Men HQ, way before my time. Well fortified centrally located and most important it has a powerful radio transmitter we can use to broadcast to the whole commonwealth for those of you who have played um fallout new vegas does it also feature an outpost system or did they do the obsidian style where it's just rpg storylines going all the way through because this one seems to blend the two together but this was developed by bethesda as opposed to new vegas which is obsidian take your time so what happened to this castle if it was so well fortified? This was long before I joined up, but the story I heard was that some kind of monster came out of the sea and destroyed. Because it's the on fort. sale right now, and I'm Lot wondering if I should go pick it up. That battle. And I guess <laughs> in my abundance of time, the risk to try to retake it. I've always like when would I have time to play New Vegas? I don't know. Of all our later problems. So should I have an assault force assemble near the castle? So nope, it does. It doesn't have the. So it's just RPG. There's no outpost element. Okay. So what happened to this castle if it was so well fortified? Oh, I already listened Long to this. Sorry, guys. Hang up. on. So. Yeah? Yeah, let's do this. We'll do some recon and meet you outside the castle. 
See you there. Fallout 4 is the first outpost Fallout game, says Akazar. Okay. Sean says it's just an RPG. All right, cool, guys. Meet the Bennett men near the castle. Ooh, that's a long effing way away, man. So training yard. Man, that's the closest I have. All right. New Vegas is simply the most badass RPG in history, says Akazar. Sean says it's the best Fallout. I've heard that from, like, so many people across my channel over the last, like, few days. Have you played New Vegas? Have you played New Vegas? I have not played New Vegas, no. Matter of fact, um... We saved here. Uh... Yeah, see, they have it right here. I don't know if there's various... Uh, this is just the, like the... This is the Game Pass version, I think. Did this come before... Or I'm thinking this... Did this come before or after Fallout 4? 2010? That would have been before, right? No. I don't know dates, guys. You tell me. Experience all the sights and sound of Fallout Vegas, brought to you by Vault Tech, Mercy First Year's Post Explore the treacherous ways to the great Southwest with the safety and comfort of your very own vault. Nice. Alright, let's not get sidetracked. By the way, I'm I'm downloading and installing Fallout 76 tonight. Um sounds like I need to schedule some point of um do some fallout in Vegas. We'll see. Oh, what the frack is shooting at me? You know what I forgot to do guys? I forgot to get ammo. I have no ammo. So I got sidetracked. Probably need to um, go back to base. I need to do something about ammo. I guess craft ammo or. Can you craft ammo in this game? What is my. Oh, there's a turret. So New Vegas was before this. Okay, copy that. God, can I get new? Can I get ammo back at the base? So that was something I hadn't considered until just now. I've never had an issue with ammo until now. The main point of Fallout 4 is the quest mods. Can I make ammo? Oh, I got an automatic laser pistol. I think we're going to be switching over. Fusion cells left though. Oh, ho, 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 ho. I need to, uh, I need some fusion cells because that's going to be way too much fun to play around with.
All right. Yeah, I'm out of ammo. I'm out of shotgun ammo. I'm out of this ammo. I got a tire iron. And I have... I'm out of ammo completely, so I got to sort out how to get some ammo now. I'm assuming I'm going to have to find some vendors and buy it from them. <laughs> New Vegas is the superior RPG, but Fallout 4 is superior for the mods. Copy that. Makes sense. All right, feel free to let me know in the comments below, everybody, but I'm gonna go Google this. I gotta find out where to find some ammo because I'm completely out of ammo. I thought you could craft it, but apparently you cannot. A lot of people are saying loot, 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 which is a lot like Starfield. I got most of my ammo looting the outposts and stuff. I was just going to see if there was any like NPCs you could buy it from. Someone says put points in ammo scrounger, you'll be tripping over fusion cores. Ah. I didn't even see that one. Yeah, I gotta find I gotta find where it's at though. I need one more point to max out my charisma though. Gosh darn it. Um maxing out my charisma just so that I have it done. But we do need to do that scrounger. I'm going to want to get scrapper too. I'm going to start leveling up agility too, it looks like. <clears throat> oh, you get way more action point regen too. I'll definitely want to run that. Get my agility up. Luck. Scrounger, that's what it is. Okay. How am I at time was? Um, it's five central. I got about forty-five minutes until my well, about an hour. But I'm, I'd like to be early. Um, I got a meeting. I got to get ready for everybody. Some uh, World of Warcraft stuff for our gaming community. Um, so I'm gonna wrap it up here. Uh, I will be back tomorrow morning, continuing the journey bright and early. I'll be doing the early morning streams uh, only on Twitch, and then that comes over to YouTube later. And then I'm doing the multi-stream in the afternoon. So we'll be going live around the same time tomorrow. So expect me to be sometime early mid-afternoon central time and we'll stream for, you know, three hours or so like we did today. Um, so tomorrow afternoon for sure. Definitely tomorrow morning. Um, I've got a lot of stuff I'm trying right now. Joe was here earlier talking about the quarry. I'm going to be trying out the quarry soon. Um, I don't know if I'll do that live or if I'll do that on a uh, just a recorded let's stream session. I've also got I, I installed the Elder Scrolls online last night to do some stuff there. Um, I've got one or two more videos to make on New World. And I've got, uh, I'm going to download and install Fallout 76 tonight. So there's going to be a lot of Fallout over the next couple of weeks while everybody's attention is focused in on this. And then we'll migrate from that into other things. But for now, I'm having fun with Fallout 4. We're going to be continuing onwards. Hopefully we'll see you in the next one. Thanks to everybody for being here today. If you liked what you saw, don't forget to follow along on both places, YouTube and Twitch. Don't forget the TikTok, the Twitter slash X account. I'm on Facebook as well if you want to tune in there. If you want to support Bits, cheers, and subs on Twitch, super chats, and memberships on YouTube. Thanks to those of you who can and do. 
I actually need to do a new member video because I haven't done one in a while. I was supposed to do one last week and then we got sidetracked with the kitty surgery, so I haven't had a lot of breathing room in the last three days. But I think she's in the clear now, so I'll catch you guys tomorrow.